Hey, Jay here, EscobarJay.com. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three quick tips on how you can boost your immune system and stay healthy throughout this tough time. So, number one is drink lots of water. Okay, water is your friend, and water, your body is made up of 80% water. So, you want to make sure you're very, very hydrated. You want to make sure that you're peeing. Your pee is clear. You don't want your pee to be any sort of yellow. Um, even if you were to get the virus, you can't. As long as you drink lots of water, you can flush it out. Uh, flush it out essentially. <clears throat> Number two, the quick tips is make sure you're eating right. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on out there about uh, nutrition and making sure you're eating right. Just make sure you're not eating tons of junk food, tons of processed foods. You want to stay low sugar. Uh, make sure that you're not uh, eating that crap. Um, even like the some of the non-perishables, some of the stuff that stays on the shelf for long periods of time, a lot of people have stocked up on like ramen and crackers and um, you know those types of noodles, you know canned goods. Some canned goods are okay, but um, like I bought some canned beans and chili. However, um, a lot of those other ones like crackers and breads and things, you want to stay away from that crap. Um, what it does is it breaks down into glucose in your body when you eat carbs, carbohydrates, and a lot of it, especially like white breads <clears throat> and crackers and noodles and ramens and processed foods that, that have uh, long shelf life. So a lot of those break down in your body. They're not good for your gut bacteria. They're not good for your gut health overall. Um, also, those, those high carbohydrate uh, type meals and chips and snack foods they break down into glucose and when it breaks down into glucose in your blood in your body um, the bacteria the viruses the infections they actually feed off of that um, and that you know they say that people with a really high blood pressure and people who are obese and people who have health problems already um, are the ones who are most likely and most susceptible to get the coronavirus and to, to suffer big time from it and you can literally number two you can, if you just change this one thing of just changing your diet and just eating low carb, low sugar foods, I, that will really, really go a long way. Benefit you eat lots of whole foods, fruits and vegetables, um, a lot of um, uh, oils, good oils, uh, MCT oil, um, avocado oil, olive oil. Um, fish oil. I mean, these are all good oils that your body can use. Fish oil is great for your heart health. Um, also, uh, the third tip is you want to take a few supplements. Um, there's a few supplements you want to get, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin A, and then also zinc. Those are the four main, uh, supplemental things that you want to have. Ideally, if you can get them in food form, that's going to be the best for you, um, because your body absorbs them better than if you get them in supplemental form. However, I'm in the I'm in here in Seattle. Uh, we have it really bad here, and it's rainy a lot, and there's a lot of cloud cover, so I can't really get a whole lot of vitamin D. So um, I'm going to be supplementing my vitamin D. You can supplement your vitamin D. Your vitamin C you can get from things like um, uh, bell peppers. You can get it from um, uh, spinach. You can get it from sauerkraut. Um, kimchi, pickled pickled items that are like fermented, those types of good things are good for you. Uh, vitamin A, and then also zinc. Zinc is really important. I eat pumpkin seeds. Uh, pumpkin seeds are really high in zinc, magnesium, and iron. Those are really, really good for you. Um, and these will help keep your immune system up and healthy, will help fight off any bacteria, any infections, any viruses. So those are my three tips. If you like this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, share this content with as many people as possible because we need to, we need as a community, we need to build our immune systems. We really need to be healthy in the next few months here, especially for our elderly people. Um, they, this can really benefit you. So um, I love you all. Love is the answer, guys. Uh, not hate. Love is the answer. We need to be kind, generous to each other. Let's always learn. Let's always grow. Let's always push forward throughout, throughout these hard times. This will pass. Um, you know, it's just we're very persistent. Um, race, we're going to get through this. Okay, we got to stay positive 
And uh, if you follow these three tips, I promise they will help you. So take care. Love is the answer. I love you all. Be well. Prosper. Take care.